Today we're taking a look at a massive piece of information you need to know about before this peak bull market as well as for the future years because this is going to be a game changer when it comes to crypto adoption. We have all of the details for you in this video but before we get into it if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe smash the like button I truly appreciate everybody who's showing a whole lot of support you guys are absolutely awesome and of course we do have a free discord it may not be free forever but for now all of the value that we're providing in that group is completely free so if you've been living under a rock over the last week well as usual i got you guys covered we are talking about rwa or real world assets and we are talking about blackrock creating a fun with securitize a big player in this rwa tokenization so as we know we are very bullish on gaming we're bullish on ai and big data but we're also bullish on rwa and i do believe that this narrative alone is going to be key for crypto adoption from the web 2 world into the web 3 world well tokenized assets i believe are going to be the one narrative that is going to make web 2 and all of these you know traditional companies understand the potential of crypto so over the last week this is the big piece of information because blackrock is an asset management company they have over nine trillion dollars worth of assets under management the biggest company the ones that essentially pushed the bitcoin etfs and the ones that are also pushing the ethereum spot etfs so if we take a closer look at this article and we see who else is involved besides blackrock well we do see that securitize will act as the transfer agent and tokenization platform while bny Mellon is the custodian of the fund's assets now on top of that we have anchorage digital bank when bitgo as well as coinbase and fireblocks who will also participate in the fund's ecosystem now if you're not bullish enough well obviously larry fink the gem right here is the CEO of BlackRock, and he has said that I see value in having an Ethereum ETF. As we know, this is ongoing. The SEC may or may not approve some Ethereum spot ETFs towards the end of this year, but he says, this is Larry Fink saying that, these are just stepping stones towards tokenization, and I really do believe this is where we're going to be. So whether this happens, you know, in this year or the next years, I still see tokenized assets being a huge driver of crypto adoption for the future. And we have literally BlackRock CEO saying this is the way to go. Now, if we take a look at this specific paragraph in the Coindesk article, it says observers pointed to a blockchain data showing $100 million of Circle's USDC stablecoin on the Ethereum network that was moved to an address related to a Securitize deployer. And as we just read, Securitize is going to be acting as the agent for this, you know, fund. So if we take a look at this link, it does bring us to an etherscan wallet address and as we can see some people have decided to pin this as the blackrock digital asset fund and as we can see they have about a hundred million dollars worth of assets in this wallet now i just want to preface this there is no confirmation that this is related to the article and to what blackrock is doing we are just assuming based on this coindesk article but again we do not have confirmation that this is in fact the blackrock digital asset fund so just be aware of that this is just a wallet that has a whole lot of money in it and could be potentially related to all of this now, as we can see, they do have this $100 million worth of USDC. And something to note here is that this fund is going to be on the Ethereum network. So BlackRock is essentially investing in projects in the RWA space in the Ethereum network or on the Ethereum network. Now, all of these other tokens that you see here have been transferred into this wallet. 
Very similar to when we talked about Alex Becker's wallet and people trying to, you know, shill their own tokens by sending tokens to this wallet. Well, if we take a look at, you know, what has been transferred into this, you can go onto the ERC20 tokens and we have just a whopping amount of different tokens. People probably trying to pump different meme coins, different coins all together. And there's also a lot of warnings on Etherscan as well saying that, you know, there are tokens that are marked as suspicious, spam, and so on and so forth. So do be aware of that. But if we just take a look at, you know, the Rio token, which is one of the tokens we're going to be talking about in this video, someone actually sent them 10,000 tokens. It's not actually this wallet who bought any of these. So if we take a look, it did come from a reserve wallet from the Rio token. So of course, do keep that in mind. But what you can do, if in fact this is, you know, the actual wallet that they're going to be using to purchase real world assets on the Ethereum network, well, we can go ahead and prepare ourselves, copy this address, go on to Arcam, and you can actually create yourself alerts to be alerted when and if anything happens within that wallet. So if we go on to Arcam, hit alerts, you can go and create an alert. You can call it whatever you want. So let's say we go BlackRock RWA, and then you can add a description if you want. And we want to then paste the wallet address that we have here. So whose transfers do you want to see? We want to see whatever happens in this wallet. And then if we want to specifically talk about an amount of USD, I just want to see absolutely anything. You could also specify the tokens. Let's say you just want to see one token. You could do that as well. You're going to have to specify the chain as we know it is on Ethereum. And then you're going to be able to say, you know, which method of communication would you want the alert sent to? So it could be by email, by telegram, or any other thing. You can create your alert, and then anytime there's going to be, you know, a transfer or anytime there's going to be a buy transaction, well, you are going to get an alert for this specific wallet. But again, there is no confirmation that this is in fact the wallet in question for this real world tokenized fund. So now that you are up to date with the news surrounding real world assets, BlackRock, what they're doing with their Ethereum fund, well, we can take a look at some of the RWA tokens that you should be aware of. We, If we go on to CoinMarketCap and we sort through the category of RWAs, well, of course, we see Avalanche, but I don't necessarily want to focus on Avalanche. We also have Chainlink. We have ICP, MakerDAO, Synthetic. We have Ondo or Ondo. I like to say Ondo. It sounds a bit cooler. But ultimately, this one here has been blowing up over the last few weeks. We've talked about it. We also have Mantra. We have Chromia, Polymesh. So, so many different RWA projects that have seen a surge in price over the last few weeks as we have seen this news come out. But to take a look at a few, I do believe that Ondo Finance is definitely one that you should have in your watch list if you don't already, because this is one of the top RWA projects right now. So if you are unfamiliar with Ondo Foundation, I would recommend doing more research on this, but we do have Ondo Finance as well as Flux Finance. Taking a look at Ondo Finance, we can talk about institutional grade finance. Now on chain or on the blockchain, we can see, you know, backed by some of the best such as Coinbase and Pantera. We also have the likes of BlackRock here. So the foundation of the Ondo Foundation is supported by so many of the key players in crypto. We have BlackRock, we have Ankura, we have Morgan Stanley, Mantle, Polygon, Coinbase, Injective. And the list goes on and on. So this is definitely one of the ones that you should be aware of for RWA narrative. I do think this one is one of the leaders in the market. And on top of that, if we move on to the next one, which has been absolutely blowing up over the last week, we can talk about Realio Network. And this one here is a tiny company compared to Ondo Foundation. Ondo is sitting at a $1.1 billion market cap. 
And this one here, the Rio token, is sitting at about 11 million. So a much, much smaller market cap. Do keep in mind that there's only about 10% of its token in circulation. So we're talking about a fully diluted market cap of roughly 130 million. But just taking a look at the last seven days as this BlackRock news has come to light, well, Rio is up about 80%. Now, if we take a look at the last month, this thing is up 112%, and over the last year, it is up about 700%. Now, if we take a look at their website, well, we are talking about a interoperable layer one multi-chain ecosystem. We are focusing on the issuance as well as the management of digital native real world real world assets of course and it is a fully open source permissionless and a purpose build so of course the point of this video is not necessarily to dive deeper into these different projects but it's to make you aware of the different rw plays that is currently available so definitely take a look at this we're talking about security web3 compliant governance we also have the tokenization aspect which is definitely the most important aspect here where the Rilio network actually allows for the creation of new tokenized assets with a decentralized and secure process. So put this one on your watch list. The next one, which is also one that we've talked about in previous videos, we have Pendle. I would put this as well as, you know, a play for the Ethereum spot ETF. If that is approved, I do think Pendle is going to do very well. And Pendle can also be an RWA play with their tokenized yield. So, of course, Pendle has seen some great growth over the last month or so. We can see it's up about 25%. But just over the last week, it is again up about 25%. But it was at a low of roughly $2.40. And it's gained $1 quite rapidly. But again... Just taking a look at the market cap for Pendle, a much bigger company, we have here around 830 million. So keep an eye out on Pendle as well. If we go on to another one that has been exploding, we can talk about Clearpool or Ticker Seapool. Here we have a mid-size company or still relatively small, just shy of $100 million worth of market cap. It is at a 45% in tokens in circulation. So there's still going to be inflation. But over the last week, this thing is up 32% over the last month. It is up about 70%. And at its all-time look, well, we can see that, yes, it did launch back in 2022 when there was absolutely no money in the market. At the time of launch, it did reach about $2.40. Right now, it's at 20 cents. Is it ever going to go back? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see, but definitely another one to put on your watch list. Now, if we give you a sneak peek of a clear pool, well, we can see it is the first decentralized credit marketplace. So we're talking about lending as well as borrowing. And we can see that as of now, they've originated about 484 million loans. So Definitely a whole lot of value in here. We have a TVL of about 63 million and you can see the different assets here that can be leveraged over, you know, these different borrow and lending procedures. But ultimately, this is what Clearpool is doing. Put it on your watch list and just see where this one goes. Now, last but not least, I wanted to talk quickly about Landshare which is, again, a much smaller company. We're sitting at about $11 million worth of market cap, a fully diluted market cap of $29 million. But over the last month, this thing is up about 80%. And again, taking a look at its all-time chart, very similar to, you know, Clearpool launching back in 2022. Not much has happened since, but we are seeing a bit of life over the last few months. So again, this one here is another one I would put on my watch list for this narrative. Now, as the name says it, this is turning real estate into tokenized assets that people can buy, of course, earn a certain yield. I've not done enough research on this one to say whether or not this is a good company to buy or not. But as I said, 
The point of this is to make you aware of these different projects within this narrative so that you guys can go and make more research, educate yourself on these, and understand whether or not you are comfortable putting money in these projects. And again, nothing I cover here is financial advice. I'm just trying to shed light on some potential projects within a very fast and growing narrative in crypto. Now, last but not least, I wanted to just, again, reiterate how you can find these different projects. If we use a CryptoRank.io, again, my favorite website here, you can go into the fundraising, you can go into funding rounds, and then go onto the filters, go to category, and of course, select your real world assets. Then you can see everything that's happening and which, you know, firms are investing in what. So we have DWF Labs here putting $10 million into TokenFi. We also have a mantle with Clearpool. We took a look at that. And we have another one here, T Protocol. This one is coming soon. I am very excited for this one because we're talking about treasury backed yields. They have investments from a few different backers here. So they have Summer Ventures, they have Spark Digital, they also have Matrix Port. This is another one that's going to be launching relatively soon. I would keep my eye on, but you can continue doing more research on all of these different RWA projects, understand, you know, what's happening to them, when are they launching, so on and so forth. So this is a great way to find new RWA projects. And of course, do your own research before investing in any of these. So with all of that being said, do keep an eye out on that wallet that we talked about. I'm not sure if it is a BlackRock's, you know, Ethereum fund into RWAs. We're going to keep an eye on it. If there are any transactions, we'll let you know in the Discord. But ultimately, I do believe that real world assets are going to be a massive narrative for crypto adoption. This bull market and into future years, I do think this is one of of the top narratives for crypto so i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts on the rwa narrative let me know which ones you are looking at which projects you're looking at and if you are new here subscribe to the channel smash the like button and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace